Down at Filbert Street, there was a ticker tape welcome for the teams, one gunning for promotion, the other still fighting for survival. Almost 2,000 Newcastle fans have made the journey, and they see all their favourites have the better of the first half. On 15 minutes, Kevin Brock's shot took a deflection, and stand-in keeper Carl Muggleton turned acrobat to keep it out. Franz Carr has a point or two to prove in the Midlands, and he found time and space to set up United's top scorer, Gavin Peacock. His effort clipped the crossbar. Peacock and Brock were again involved when they took a quick free kick. When the first shot was blocked, Brock side-footed his effort over the bar, but the opening goal wasn't far away. 47 minutes on the clock and Steve Thompson's back pass played Peacock on side. The United striker stayed cool and slotted home his 22nd goal of the season. It was the perfect lift for the players and every man, woman and child who follow United. After the break, Keegan's men continued to go forward. Brock this time only inches away from the target. Then it was Leicester's turn. Tommy Wright saved this one, but manager Brian Little could still afford a smile. Another free kick also threatened, but again Wright was in the right place, getting down to save from substitute Tony James. The last five minutes were nothing short of sensational. First, Carr could have wrapped it all up when he cut inside and almost beat Muggleton. Keegan and his backroom boys knew that was close. But then came the heartbreak. Newcastle had defended well until Leicester's last throw of the dice. The ball was never really cleared, and skipper Steve Walsh bulleted his header past right. The ecstasy turned to agony for Keegan. Deep into stoppage time, though, the saga took yet another twist. From Wright's long clearance, a misunderstanding between Walsh and his keeper meant despair for Leicester as the ball rolled into the empty net. It sparked off an instant pitch invasion which had Keegan showing concern for the safety of his players. He's not going to get out and then yeah. get him off. Get off. off. Hey, off. come on. Come With on. the prospect of an ugly clash between the two sets of supporters looking a real danger, referee David Ellery decided to end the game. An inhibited joy in the Newcastle camp, second division football confirmed for next season. Well, it's 